so uh, the two pound Xbox One. So this doesn't have a power button, so to get this to run, we have to put in a disc and it should turn on. So we've got a light. Do we have anything on screen? Okay, so here we have the solution. This little beauty was bought off eBay for £9.99. I'll put the eBay description up. This has a, I've, tried, I've plugged this in and tried it, it's got a re-timer issue. Rather than taking it apart, trying to fix that, it's easier just to put the front panel on this and just then obviously test this one, make sure it plays again. Um, so it's $9.99 with postage. Um, this was two pounds to buy the front panel and the sync button, which is on the side. It would have come to £25, something like that. But I managed to bid for this, a bid, one bid, £9.99p, and got it. So we will now, I have had this apart, so front panel is off. And then I just need the sync button from the side, and I will replace it with this and I'll test this Xbox make sure it does actually play a game and the drive is working just before we start I'm just going to give this a quick clean up and uh, hoover it out a little bit and then I'll fit the front panel Okay, I'm not going to clip it fully together because um, I think I'm going to use the other case rather than this one. Uh, this one seems a little bit beaten up and the other one seems a little bit better. So we will see now. If it will actually play a game. have my trusty FIFA 16 for 50p. Okay, so it looks like it needs resetting. So it turns out uh, the HDMI port is faulty. So we have the board out now and uh, it is a little dusty to say the least. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, get that HDMI off. And uh, I was going to swap it with that one, but I have got a donor board, so I'll get that other board out and I'll swap those HDMI uh, sockets over and then hopefully uh, it'll fire up. I have had it fired up, but uh, hopefully it will uh, be okay after that. So going back to the uh, little bit of dust it's got on here, I found out where it's hiding.
Okay, so we um, have the board out now. It's going to give this a quick clean up because as you can see, it's absolutely filthy. And then we'll do the ports. A few moments later A little longer than a few minutes later Okay, so we have got the port swapped over now. So I'm going to put this back together and uh, see whether it works. We're going to give it another clean. Take the old paste off there and uh, take the old paste off that. Uh, put it together and uh, put it together and then see if we can get it going. Okay, so I've put it together enough to test it. So it's turning on and we have a picture it's got the controller and there we go all appears to be working fine so now we have uh, the cleaned up two pound Xbox which actually cost me 12 pounds in the end <laughs> 